This is a place. It's weird being back here. How does it look? Like a place I didn't want to see again, I'll tell you that. If you're having second thoughts, Velazquez or I can... No, no, I'll do it. If she asked for me, it's just making me a little uneasy. Uh, Lakeisha? Uh, what time is it? 23.30. Go time. Are you two ready? I am. Jane, is the wire still secure? Feels like it. Still reeks of a trap. Why wouldn't she care if people were listening in? We're going to find out. Let's go. Uh, Lakeisha. Not now, Raphael. No, listen. Not now. My name is Aaron. My name is Sarah. My name is Jane. One rainy evening in March, I appeared on the doorstep of Dr. Liza Finch. Without a name, without a memory. But as the pieces fall into place, I'm starting to realize I don't have the blank slate I thought I did. This is Tabula Rasa. Season 2, Episode 5. He's not what you think he is. Hello? Danica? The crates that were here before are gone. Some kind of canisters. No visible labels. It smells familiar. Are you alright? It feels like I should be flashing, but there's nothing. That would be my doing. Why don't you all take a seat? Aaron. Gats. I'm gonna assume you're not Europa's daughter. You would be correct. I'm pleased you two were able to follow direction. 11.30 p.m. at a certain warehouse in Austin. Any friends you would like, waiting outside, and they're even allowed to listen in to select parts of the conversation. That doesn't make you uncomfortable? You think Gats here isn't more than capable of taking two police officers and one Homeland Security agent? Well, maybe not. Oh, don't sulk, Scott. It's unbecoming. I thought we weren't using real names. I changed my mind. Fall in line. Fine. As you wish. Are we getting it? Yep, got him. Back up is standing by. As you wish. I didn't know you were Danica's pet now, Gats. I'm not. Whatever you say. No need to be so hostile, Aaron. He's my ex-husband and a criminal. I'll be as hostile as I damn well please. <laughs> You've done as much as I have and more. How about we stop swapping insults? I'm glad one of us can be reasonable. You are here because I have something important to you. Someone. Forgive me. Someone. We'd like to see Liza before we negotiate further. Further? My dear, we've barely begun. But I can respect that. Scott, be a dear and retrieve Dr. Finch, will you? Of course. Excuse me. Let's talk about what you can do. What is that name you have for it? Flashing? Quaint. What about it? You feel that, don't you? At the edge of sound? You should be using your ability right now, but it's not 
quite possible. How do you know that? Don't you remember? You were the one who showed me we could do this. Give me your hand. Jane. It's fine. You hear it now, don't you? Say it again. What happened at Style 5? They fell. How? They lost sight of their goal. What was that goal? Victory. What victory? That's enough for now. How did you... Oh, Aaron. You and I are more alike than you could possibly remember. Jane, are you alright? I'm fine. Well, isn't this a sorry reunion? Oh, Jane. Lakeisha. He's Uriah. Liza, are you alright? I'm fine, but... Dr. Finch, you are talking too much again. Why don't you take a seat? No one's gonna offer me a chair, then? That's fine. I'll stand. Shut up. No need to snap, Doctor. Liza, it's all right. We're going to get you out of here. Let's discuss terms, shall we? I have something you want, and you have something I want. And what would that be? I would like... Aaron. And there it is. You want me? Yes. I want you to come with me. It's been very unfair the way our people have treated you since you went blind, but I believe a living, if difficult to handle, asset is worth more to us than a dead one. Uriah disagreed. Jane, don't listen to her! No one asked for your opinion, Liza. Absolutely not. I won't allow it. Now, Detective, Erin is a grown woman. She can do what she pleases. If I go with you, you'll let Liza go free? That's not all. We can help you. We can help you remember. Remember what these people have done to you, to your friends. Remember what Uriah did to you. Uriah no longer speaks for us. (laughs) It was Uriah who tried to blow this warehouse sky high. Who told Gats and Ganymede to kill you. Whose lackeys were ordered to orchestrate a gang war who sought to carry out her own pathetic little revenge plot over a promotion? Her plot? Shush now, Lizzie. There's plenty more to hear yet. Don't call me that. Easy, Doctor. Danica, you want me to gag her? Keep your hands off her. That won't be necessary. She's just a little confused, is all. You expect me to believe the rest of you had nothing to do with it? Indeed I do. And as a show of good faith, Ganymede, meet us up here, please. You sure that's a good idea? Of course. The guest list today was very specific. Now, Lakeisha, may I call you that? Detective is overly formal. Let's see what you and Homeland Security know. You've met Io, of course. George Pickett. Good. You have an A so far. He, of course, met his end in organized crimes, with a little subtle help from Uriah. Moving forward, you've met Callisto, if briefly. She was one of the Roseland Joints. Almost right. She was the leader of the Roseland Joints. Which reminds me, Dr. Finch, we need to have a word about your son's extracurriculars. What? (laughs) What do you mean? You knew he wasn't really suddenly into theater, didn't you? But you were afraid to ask, afraid to push him too far. Always afraid. Raising a child alone is so difficult, isn't it? That was one of Uriah's little schemes. Wanted to see just how far the strings that hold Sergeant Clark and the rest of your friends upright could be pulled. Stupid. Idiotic, I agree. Uriah should never have been elevated. I'm standing right here. Some things are best left in the past, however. 
So that's two moons. Next, there's Europa. Macabre. Still missing. Wrong. Well, the name is right. I didn't lie to you. Macabre was indeed working for Uriah. And you were right in assuming he killed Senator Richard Montague. But I am very aware of where he is. Look under your seat, Lakeisha. An urn. Ashes? Scrambling government agencies' communication is easier than you'd think. You remember Wilson, Aaron? Doesn't matter, I suppose. With a little help from her, we were able to keep the Secret Service, CIA, Homeland Security, FBI, and so on, running in circles over jurisdiction and evidence. For so long, we were able to remove all traces of our involvement in the assassination, including Micawber himself. That right there is all that's left. And good riddance, brown noser. Always looking to succeed Uriah, to get elevated. And now we come to the last. Ganymede. You remember Ganymede, don't you, Aaron? No. You don't have to lie. The truth will come out in a minute. I don't. I don't see faces. I don't recognize voices. <sighs> Give me your hand. No. No. Get your hands off her. Put the gun down, or I'll blow your hand off. That escalated rather quickly. I knew you were lying. After all these years, you think I don't know you? Lakeisha, your friend has omitted one crucial detail from what she's told you. Seems we just can't trust anybody these days. Let's all put our weapons down. I'll take yours, dear. Oh, you can't have it. Lakeisha, give it to her. Stand by to move in. Yes, sir. No, not yet. We can't risk getting them all killed. This whole thing has got to be a trap, boss. Clark is right. Remain in standby. Don't move until I give any signal. I can't do that. She won't hurt us. Just give it to her. I don't care. You tried, Aaron. Scott, your gun, if you please. You want me to go get him, then? No, he'll come out by himself. Ganymede! Come say hello. Oh. My god. Lakeisha? Gats? I'll take that. <clears throat> you told me she didn't have to see me. I lied. Looks like I'm not the only one in the running for the Worst Husband Award. Shut up. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! I have to go. I have to go help them. Stay put, detective. That's an order. I'm sorry, sir. Raphael, damn it, stop! Jane, you, you knew? I... I did. We couldn't risk Liza being hurt. My children, Jane. My boys. Living with... with him? Lakeisha, I... You. You shut your mouth, you lying criminal bastard. How many people have you killed? Oh, plenty. Europa, for starters. Any number of drugged-up teenagers during that fracture fiasco. Almost killed Aaron here, but those were under Uriah's orders. Gats, will you bring Uriah to us, please? Wait, what? <sighs> you want me to take care of him? No, stay in my line of sight, if you would. He won't be getting in unless we want him to. Did they say they were bringing in Uriah? Interesting. Uriah's here! He's... he's right here! No, no, I think you're confused. He's not in this room. In fact, he's not... Right on time. Let's just get this gag off here. <coughs> and the power of speech is restored. Identify yourself for us, dear. My name is Uriah. No. I thought Cal? Cal! Oh. You know how I feel about labels. 
My name is Jessie Cesare. She was dead. Are you so sure, Aaron? You thought Micawber had run off and left his sweet daughter behind, too. Give me your hand. And yours, too, Uriah. And now, if we press them together, remember. Come on, let's go. Uh, please don't, don't kill me. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, Into the bathroom, sweetheart. I don't. I, I don't. I can't. <coughs> Ow! Stupid bitch. Shut up and listen to me very carefully, you imbecile. It's me, Macabre. Uriah. How in the hell? Never mind the how. I'll deal with your incompetence later. For now, I need to get out of this box. They'll think I'm dead out there now. Oh, event. Thank God. So what am I supposed to do now? Just kill him and be done with it. You can let the others go. They're not important. Listen to me. Donica is here. One of Sayer's friends. I need to know you're going to be on my side. Cromwell will- Always, sir. Always. Good. Good man. Give me a few seconds to get clear and then go back out there and finish the job. Uh, How did you... How did I... That's just the beginning. Aaron, come with me. I can show you so many things you thought you forgot. What? But, Cal, I... Don't do it, Jane. There's got to be another way. Backup is coming. We just need a couple more minutes. Ganymede, help me. I'll give you everything, anything, just... I don't answer to you anymore. You're finished. Cops are surrounding the place. What will it be, Aaron? Are you coming? I don't... I don't know. I need to think. Just need a second to think. We are not your enemy. If you can't remember, let me prove it to you. I thank you for your years of service to the cause. When victory is achieved, you will be remembered. No, no, tell Cromwell I'm sorry, please! Oh my god. That is how much we want you back. We will sacrifice one of our own. I... I can't. No. I I won't do it. Gats, you might want to get the detonator. You're right. What more do I have to do? Come home, Aaron. There's so much you don't know. So much you've forgotten. Have you forgotten this? Aaron, come here, baby. Come here. That's right. Oh, look at you, a big walker. So proud of you. I know everything. Was that... This is my final offer. Will you come with me? Hit it again. One, two, three... We're surrounded, Danica. You want me to start the sequence? What do you say, Aaron? No. So be it. Gats. It's not working. One. I suppose now we have to use the failsafe. That was one of Uriah's failings. She never had a backup plan. Wait. Now you said you wouldn't have to... I thank you for your years of service to the cause. When victory is achieved... You will be remembered. Don't you dare think that you... Dead man's trigger. When his heart drops below a certain rate, those canisters you saw when you came in will begin releasing a highly toxic gas. Smithing and saying, Harry! Not much you can do for him now, dear. We need to go. Sir. Uriah is dead. She is. Good work. Will you be wanting me to return for a new assignment then? Quite the opposite. You've hardly even started. Uriah's handiwork presents us with a unique opportunity. Clear! 
Increase to 150. Charging. Clear. <laughs> we got him. Somebody get cuffs on him. <sighs> Danica. Featuring the voice talents of Susan Bridges as Aaron Jane Sayre, Lynn Cullen as Dr. Liza Finch, Chris Hackney as Detective Rafael Velasquez, Kristen Bays as Detective Lakeisha Morris, Pete Mylan as Sergeant Nathan Clark, Mindy Rest Keenan as Special Agent Sanvi McGrath, Jason R. Wallace as Terry Ganymede Morris, Tom Stitzer as Gats, Allison Moser as Danica. Bruce Busby as Cromwell, Joe J. Thomas as Dr. Calvin Finch, Dave Morgan as Micawber Europa Jones, Marley Norton as Wilson, Anna Rodriguez as The Woman, Aiden Rudd as The EMT, and Catherine Pride as Jesse Uriah Cesare. Written by Jack Kalk. Edited by Teresa Stacy. Directed by Anna Rodriguez. Opening theme by her side. Written and performed by Karina Barroso. Available on iTunes. Closing theme, Back Home. Written and performed by Mile96. Autumn sunset. Before dawn. Minor with cricket. Quiet. And the children's room by audionautics.com. Gallows Hill. I'm not dreaming. Nothing in the dark. By Josh Woodward. Deep Haze by Kevin McLeod. Moonlight Requiem by Zero Project. Tabula Rasa, created by Jack Kalk. Copyright 2014, Pendant Productions. For more information, visit PendantAudio.com. Thanks for listening. New entry, August 23rd. Next time on Tabula Rasa, time has passed and things are starting to return to normal. Good to have Liza back at work. Personally, I think she's glad to be back as well. Or at least some semblance of normal. Captain Nathan Clark, at your service. Meeting in the daytime, you must be getting desperate. But danger is never far away. It's all he does nowadays, shoot things and stab things and karate chop things. I prefer less... Violent methods of relaxation. Maybe I wanted to say goodbye properly this time. The rebuilding begins in Season 2, Episode 6 of Tabula Rasa, only at PendantAudio.com. How long did you know?